This is the matchup we wanted, or at least this is the matchup I wanted. This is the matchup I wanted to see. Oklahoma City versus Golden State, winner goes to the NBA Finals. It's going to be a lot of offense. It's going to be good defense. I think it's going to be a whole lot of offense, a whole lot of fireworks, a whole lot of highlights. This is the series I want to see. Let's get into it. DreAllDay.com What's going on, everybody? Dre Baldwin with DreAllDay.com. We are here. Western Conference Finals preview. The Oklahoma City Thunder versus the Golden State Warriors. This is a series that I would have loved to see two years ago. I would have loved to see it last year. Now we get to see it this year. OKC and Golden State. And the great thing about this series is you got so much firepower. You got Golden State, obviously, we know about them. 73 wins. They got the back-to-back -back MVP. They already won the championship. They got all these all-stars on their team, all these shooters on, the, on their team, versatile players on their team. Then you got the OKC Thunder. They got two of the top five players in, on the universe on their team. Those two guys, either one of them could go off for 30, 40 points any game, damn near triple-double any game. And even though sometimes it seems like they're a two-man team, their role players know their roles, accept their roles, very important, and they step up and do what they need to do. You got Robertson scoring 14 points, but they said that was his career high. He didn't score that many points all season, but then he went out and got 14 in the, the series clinching game against San Antonio. And me personally, let me go back, even before we even get into this series, going back to the previous two series, especially the San Antonio OKC series, I was wrong. I picked the Spurs to win that series in six maybe in seven, and then when they blew OKC out of the gym in game one, it looked like the Spurs were going to kill them. But then OKC came back, stole game two in San Antonio, went home, won a game, then stole what they won game five in San Antonio, right? Then they came home and won game six. So OKC really just jumped on the Spurs' ass with that athleticism, man. Those two guys, actually, we could say those, we could say they whole lineup, actually. Waiters coming off the bench. San Antonio didn't have an athlete who can match up with Waiters off the bench. They didn't, neither of their bigs could do anything with uh, Ennis Cantor and Steven Adams, honestly. And of course, Russell Westbrook was way too much for any guard that the Spurs got. You saw how he crossed made Patty Mills fall in game five. That was funny. And Tony Parker just ain't got the, he ain't got the Jets to stay with Russell Westbrook, not anymore at least. And KD, Spurs didn't have nobody for him. The only guy the Spurs had who was athletic, who could possibly match up with either of those guys, is Kawhi Leonard, but the problem is there's only one Kawhi Leonard and it's two of them. It's one KD and there's one Russ. So he can't guard both of them. And then you get Russ hitting threes. He's not a good three-point shooter. He's actually, I think statistically, of guys who have taken at least, I forget the number, X number of three-pointers in their career in the postseason, or was it regular season, one of those. He has like the worst three-point percentage of everybody. So letting him shoot threes is a good idea, but then when his confidence gets so high and he starts making them, hey, what do you do? You're just in some damn trouble. As for the other series, the Portland Trailblazers and Golden State, I thought Portland had a chance to maybe, maybe steal a couple games and possibly win the whole series if, if Stephen Curry didn't play. But then once they started playing, I looked at the teams, I said, wait, Golden State can still beat Portland, even if Steph Curry never plays this entire series. They can still beat Portland. Then Steph Curry came back, y'all. We all know what he did in game, what game was that? Game four in Portland when he scored 17 points in overtime and he starts hitting those, hitting those crazy shots, even though he didn't make a three all game before he got into overtime, he just makes the kind of shots where it seems like he made 100 threes because he makes such big shots and he makes shots that are so tough. They're heavily contested, they're off the dribble, and he's knocking them down. But that guy, he's, he's on fire right now. I think we can all agree with that. Just his, his whole game is on fire right now. Not a couple games, it's all season. He's been on fire. So look into this Western Conference Finals. So we got OKC Golden State. I didn't think OKC would make it this far, honestly, with the team that they have. I didn't think they had enough extra pieces, extra guys who would step up. We know KD, Russ gonna do their thing, but I didn't think they had enough other guys to step up. And then you look at a team like Golden State where they got all these role players who step up. They got Spates will come in and get you 15 points every once in a while. Iguodala, Iguodala will come in. You got Harrison Barnes. You got who's the other role guy? Sean Livingston has been great. as a, He's one of the best backup point guards you could ask for, Sean Livingston. And then of course you got the stars. You got, I know, forgot Andrew Bogut too. And then you got the stars, Draymond, Klay Thompson, and of course the MVP, Stephen Curry, they got a hell of a team, as a hell of a team. But I do think, I do think that Oklahoma City has the perfect team. There are two teams actually, I think had a perfect team 
who could possibly beat Golden State. I don't think there is a perfect team to beat Golden State. I mean, they did, after all, win 73 out of 82 games, which no one has ever done ever. So there is no team in the league that's perfect to beat them because if it was, they would have beat them. And it, that hasn't happened as of the recording of this video, which is on Friday. The series is starting on Monday. So what I'll say is this. The point guard situation at Golden State, they have Stephen Curry at the point. He's not the most athletic, and he's also not the most physically imposing. I'm talking defense. I'm not talking about offense. We know offensively he's doing his thing, obviously. But defensively, he's not very physically imposing. He's not super athletic. So if you get a point guard who can score and who can attack off the dribble, that guy can get his against Stephen Curry. Not to say Curry's a bad defender, but that a point guard who can get it off the dribble and who can play physically and can score can get theirs against a guy like Steph Curry. So there are two guys that fall into that category I'm thinking of right now who are still playing. And y'all probably are thinking the same two guys. And of course, amongst the team players who are still playing. Now at the small forward position, Golden State has that Swiss Army knife. They got Draymond Green who could play the five, he plays the four, he plays the three. He could probably guard a shooting guard if he had to. But there's a small forward in the NBA. There are two small forwards in the NBA who are pretty damn dynamic and pretty hard to stop. Nobody can stop them actually when they want to do their thing. And that's, well, there are only two guys. I don't think I even got to say their names, but those, there are two teams who happen to have those two guys that I described at the point guard and at the small forward. And that happens to be the Cleveland Cavaliers with Kyrie and LeBron James. And then you got OKC with Russell Westbrook and Kevin Durant. So this is what I see happening in this series. One thing I can definitely guarantee, Kevin Durant's gonna have 40 at least twice. At least twice, I think maybe three times, maybe four times, depending on how many games this series goes. Russell Westbrook will have at least, I'm gonna say at least two triple doubles. I think he will have at least two triple doubles in this series. What else can I say is gonna happen? Steph Curry's gonna have 40 at least twice in this series. I think Steph Curry is gonna get his on Russ and Russ is gonna get his on Curry because neither one of them could guard the other. Nobody could guard Steph Curry. And Steph Curry cannot guard Russell Westbrook. Russell was just too physically imposing. Nobody can really guard Russell Westbrook, keep it real. Kevin Durant, nobody can really guard Kevin Durant except maybe LeBron James. And Kevin's still going to get his point. So I say KD's going to get his. Steph's going to get his. Russ is going to get his. Klay Thompson's going to have some games. Draymond's going to have a triple-double or two in this series. This, is, this might be, ladies and gentlemen, I live on the East Coast. I live in Miami. I'm not from Miami. I'm from Philly, but I live in Miami. I might have to stay up late to watch these games. I might have to stay up and watch these. Like right, so far in the playoffs, I'm gonna keep it real with y'all. I have not stayed up to watch no playoff games. I mean, sometimes I go to bed before the Eastern Conference games go off. I don't even stay up to watch. I just get wake up in the morning. And I look online and see who won, and then I watch the highlight videos and all that stuff. See what happened. Look at the box scores and all that. But I never stay up to watch the games so far. But this series right here, I will stay up to watch the finals. That's a guarantee. But this series right here, even if the game started at 10:30 Eastern. I might have to stay up till 2 o'clock in the morning to see these because this is going to be some must-see TV. This is going to be some really good basketball. This is going to be a lot of offense. It's going to be a lot of scoring, a lot of dunks, a lot of highlights, a lot of, a lot of Twitter explosions going to be going on in this series. I, gotta, I think I'm going to have to stay up and watch these. I think. We'll see. But let's get to the prediction. What do I think is going to happen in this series? I already told you what I think individual people are going to do. Hmm. This is what's going to happen in this series, the Western Conference Finals. Russell Westbrook and Kevin Durant, I know they, just like everybody else in the league, would love to be the team to dethrone the defending champs. Especially Russell Westbrook getting to beat the guy who has basically been anointed as the best point guard in the league. I think if Steph Curry didn't play this season, I think Russell Westbrook would be anointed as the best point guard in the league. I think Chris Paul is still up there, but I think just with the stats that he puts up and the highlights he gets, Russell would have been, I think, the consensus, like the public opinion point, best point guard in the league. But Steph Curry is playing. <laughs> Steph Curry has been the best player in the league, period. So, but, but the point and reason I'm bringing that up is because I think Russell Westbrook is going to take this one very personal to outdo Stephen Curry in this series, especially after Steph hit that big three on them on the road in that last game in OKC during the season. I think Russell Westbrook is going to take this match up personally. I think Steph Curry is going to take it personal when he sees Russ taking it personal, on top of the fact that he's just – humanly on fire now anyway besides regardless of who he's playing against i think kevin durant also wants to prove that the okc's run is not over you know remember how long ago it doesn't seem like it was forever ago when they went to the finals and they lost to the heat when it was the three of them when they had james harden it doesn't seem like that was so long ago and people have been pretty much writing off okc no one expected them to get to the conference finals 
everyone said if they go against the Spurs or the Warriors, they're gonna lose. They pretty much kicked the shit out of San Antonio except for game one, to keep it real. I think Kevin Durant has a point to prove personally. A lot of people wrote him off as being one of the best after the foot situation last season. So I think he has a lot to prove. I think Russell Westbrook has a lot to prove. OKC's role guys aren't scared. They don't get shook. They just do their jobs. They don't worry about trying to do too much. Very important. That's a, a major key on a team that has superstars, ball dominant stars like Russ and KD. On the Golden State side, I mean, they've been having something to prove all season. Let's not overlook. These guys have just been uh, beating the shit out of motherfuckers all year. Let's keep it real. They didn't. They went 73-9. and nine. We're not taking nothing away from those guys. they best regular season team in the history of the league. Stephen Curry is, again, on fucking fire right now. He, everything he touches turns to flames. Klay Thompson is one of the best shooters. I mean, he would have the best three-point shooting season in the history of the league if it wasn't for his teammate. Draymond Green, maybe one of the most, well, is one of the most versatile guys in the league. Top five, top 10 MVP candidate. This is gonna be a good ass series. <laughs> that's, the, that's the most important thing I can say. This is gonna be a good ass series. This series is going seven. It's going seven, unless somebody just catches complete fire, it'll go six, but it's going at least six. That's a guarantee, unless somebody gets injured. Unless someone, one of these star players gets injured, this series is going at least six. I see it going seven. That game seven will be in Golden State. Oklahoma City Thunder is winning the series. OKC is winning in seven. I'm putting it out there. OKC is winning in seven. I know there's a ton of Golden State fans out there. I know there's a lot of Golden State con converts out there. You wasn't fans before you started winning the championship, but it's all good. I understand how it is. We want to follow. You want to roll with the winners. Ain't nothing wrong with that. Roll with the winners. They did win. Oklahoma City Thunder wins this series in Oakland in game seven. Kevin Durant scores 50. Russell Westbrook has a triple-double. OKC is winning this series. They will dethrone the champion, Golden State Warriors, in their building in Game 7. And they are going to the NBA Finals where they will face, they're going to face the Cleveland Cavaliers. As of right now, understand, I'm recording this on Friday, May the 13th. The Raptors and the Heat are playing tonight in Game 6 in Miami. And I don't even know who won. I think it's going to go 7. I may be wrong. Y'all can, of course, somebody will point it out if I was wrong. I think that series is going to go 7. Game 7 will be on Sunday. But it don't even matter what happens in that series because whoever wins that series, Cleveland's going to stomp the shit out of them in the conference finals. It's going to be Cleveland against whoever wins this one that we're talking about right here. I want to see LeBron against KD. I would also be fine to see. And I want to see Kyrie against Russell Westbrook. But I'd also be very happy seeing, and Kevin Love, let's not forget about him. I'd be very happy also to see LeBron against Golden State again, Kyrie healthy, Kevin Love healthy. I would love to see that series too. So I think we in for we in for a treat. Basketball fans, NBA fans, we in for a treat. These last this last month of the NBA postseason with the Western Conference Finals. I don't think the Eastern Conference Finals is even gonna be that good unless Miami wins, because I would love to see LeBron against Miami. So hopefully Miami wins. I live in Miami. I live out there, so don't go there, all you Raptors fans out there. I want to see Miami do it. Y'all know D-Wade ain't dead. But who knows, by the time you watch this video, they might have already lost. So we'll see. But we in for some good basketball. I think I'm going to have to stay up. I'm going to have to get on Twitter. I'm going to have to get on Snapchat and interact with y'all. Because, I again, I ain't even been watching the games like that. But I think I got to do it now. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm picking OKC in seven. I want to know what you think. Leave your predictions in the comments. Don't wait till the series starts and then start talking shit. People came in here. Somebody came in my NBA predictions video for the season. I made a predictions video for the season in like October and somebody left a comment like three days ago like yeah Dre you was wrong about that how you gonna predict this uh, you could have easily saw that like come on dude you wait till the season was over and now all of a sudden you know everything yeah hindsight's 2020 right so whatever prediction you got leave it before the series starts if you want to say why leave it there if any of y'all y'all interact y'all know how to do it in the comments I am gonna be on Twitter more actively talking basketball at least during these conference finals because yeah this is some ball I might have to, I might have to stay up for this y'all I might have to stay up for these ones. Ladies and gentlemen, that's my pick. Let me know what you think. Western Conference Finals, work on your fucking game. DreAllDay.com. What could you not do with more confidence? Less attention to the negativity of other people, more focus on your goals and nothing else, and not letting unfortunate circumstances slow you down. Would all of those help you out? Well, go to DreAllDay.com slash Bulletproof. Check out my new eight-week course called Bulletproof Mindset. Get started, and I'll see you over there. Work on your game.
If you on Snapchat, hit me on the snap. My snap name is at Dre Baldwin. You already know how that works. And I got a podcast, if you didn't know. It is called Work On Your Game. It is an everyday podcast where I talk about getting yourself into the right mindset, that bulletproof mindset. Getting yourself seen, heard, known. Getting the exposure you want and making things happen in your life instead of waiting for things to happen to or for you. Subscribe to that podcast. We on iTunes, SoundCloud, and Stitcher. Make sure you check it every single day. Make sure you're subscribed so you catch the heat. Work on your game. Dre